relations, and functions, on equations. Relations, and functions. A relation is a set of ordered pairs. A function is a special type of relation that assigns each y value only one x value. Among the given relations, which is a function, relation 1 is a function since the x values does not repeat. Relation 2 is not a function because the x values repeats. What if we are given equations? How do we know if the relation is a function? To know if an equation is a function or not, we need to use the table of values. A table of values is a list of numbers that are used to substitute one variable to find the value of the other variable or missing number. Let's answer the first equation. Let's provide some sample x values. We may use minus 1, 0, and 1, so that solving for the y value is easier. After solving, we got a y value of 1 for the x value of minus 1. Let's continue solving for the other y values. After solving, we got a y value of 3 for the x value of 0. Let's continue solving for the other y values. After solving, we got a y value of 5 for the x value of 1. Now, let us plot the points of the ordinate pairs from our table of values. After plotting the points, notice that they form a straight line. To determine if this is a function or not, we can use the vertical line test. Let's consider the graph of the line, formed by equation number 1. Notice that the vertical line, passed the given line, at only one point. Since there is only one point of intersection, equation number 1, is a function. Let's answer equation number 2. Let's provide some sample x values. 
there is a second degree exponent. So we have to use minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2 for the x values. After solving, we got a y value of 8 for the x value of minus 2. Let's continue solving for the other y values. After solving, we got a y value of 5 for the x value of minus 1. Let's continue solving for the other y values. After solving, we got a y value of 4 for the x value of 0. Let's continue solving for the other y values. After solving, we got a y value of 5 for the x value of 1. Let's continue solving for the other y values. After solving, we got a y value of 8 for the x value of 2. Now, let us plot the points of the ordinate pairs from our table of values. After plotting the points, notice that they form a curve. To determine this a function or not, we can use the vertical line test. Let's consider the graph of the curve, formed by equation number 2. Notice that the vertical line past the given curve, at only one point. Since there is only one point of intersection, equation number 2, is a function. Let's answer equation number 3. Let's provide some sample x values.
after solving, we got a y value of 0 for the x value of minus 2. Let's continue solving for the other y values. After solving, we got a y value of square root of 3 for the x value of minus 1. Let's continue solving for the other y values. After solving, we got a y value of 2 for the x value of 0. Let's continue solving for the other y values. After solving, we got a y value of square root of 3 for the x value of 1. Let's continue solving for the other y values. After solving, we got a y value of 0 for the x value of 2. Now, let us plot the points of the ordinate pairs from our table of values. To determine this a function or not, we can use the vertical line test. Let's consider the graph of the curve, formed by equation number 3. Notice that the vertical line passed the given curve at two different points. Since there are two point of intersections, equation number 3 is not a function. Here are the answers to the exercises.